Right, I thought I'd pull over because I can't believe how quick the long range actually is. There's a really fun road to get to the Charge Heads garage and I've taken it loads of times, taken it lots of different cars and this thing is so quick, so quick. I mean, yes, I'm going to be doing the performance upgrade. It's got to be done. Hello! And again, the... the, the... Yeah, I mean, we've got to open hell. In terms of the handling on this car, down the down the twisties, etc. I have noticed that the back end, you know, there is a little bit of lift off oversteer. It's quite kind of um, aided with the fact that it's got some accelerator tires on, which I think isn't a bad thing. Yeah, ultimately the grip isn't as good, but I always think it's good to have some not so great tires on it because then you get to really feel where the car's going um, rather than some really good tires where you're going a lot quicker before it breaks away. And the eyeback springs, although the suspension is lovely down the country roads, there just is that little bit of floatiness, which when it's not on the country roads and when you're going swiftly, um, it really does need that extra little bit of lowering and like that little bit of stiffness, which I hope that the uh, eyeback springs will provide. So I thought I'd give you it fresh the first drive after fitting the IBAC lowering springs. Now, I am so happy because first of all, they're not crashy at all. Um, so in terms of the ride comfort, it's still really, really good. I'm actually really impressed. I think it's even better than I thought it was gonna be, um, but it's definitely more planted. Um, when I haven't got so many springs and bags in the car, I can test it a bit more, but uh, yeah, definitely feels better. Uh, not quite as floaty, like I said, a bit more planted. Uh, just give me a bit more confidence, actually. Um, but all in all, great modification. Um, if you're looking to have a bit more uh, sportiness in the ridey long range, I can recommend Ibac Springs. I'd love to be able to compare it to um, the Unplugged Performance Springs and the Mountain Pass Performance Springs, h and um, there's loads of different springs out there. Obviously, the ones that I chose are IBAC because they were used, managed to get them, uh, which was obviously important to me. Awesome, love it. Let me show you how bad these wheels are curbed. All the way around there, all the way there, there and a little bit there. I was hoping to do the touch-ups because I've got the white paint as well as the paint for the wheels which I ordered and came through on eBay but I've also got the um, wireless charger for phones which comes standard on the later models but um, it's something that you can add to the early ones and I managed to get a used um, one off eBay at a good price um, and I've also got a screen protector, very important. Gloves, very important. I don't think this is the right colour. Hmm. Right, the wheel refurbishments have been done to a very high standard. Not at all really, but at least there's no metal showing anymore. Um, so now I'm gonna do the touch up with the white paint I've got. That's something I can do quite well. Um, again, the refurbishment of the wheels, I will get that done properly, but just for now, just to make it look a bit more presentable. And then we'll get inside the car, tell you more about it, the spec, and fit the parts inside. Let's go. Little insider trick here. Tissue, twirl it round, get a nice fine point, dab the paint, and then dab it into the little spot. Works really well. Bodywork is pretty good. Um, it's done 58,000, nearly 500 now. We picked it up with about 57. There's uh, a bit of stone chipping in the black here. Uh, there's a stone chip there which I've just touched in. And just around here, there's just a mark there which has been touched in. Nothing too bad. Oh yeah, and one there. Other than that, all the wheels need refurbishing, which I've already mentioned. Ah, so just some spots there, which I'll touch up a bit better than there is at the moment. Other than that, the car is pretty damn clean, bearing in the mileage, etc. Bearing in mind it is an early Tesla Model 3, so the panel gaps were never amazing. So on this side, it's not so bad. A um, little bit there, maybe. The main one, uh, it's a little bit there, tiny bit, 
is this driver's door. That needs to be coming up a little bit. So I'm probably gonna get um, a body shot up at some point to have a look at that. Yeah, let's go inside in the dry and uh, let's fit the other bits that I've managed to uh, find online. Get ready, deal of the century. Wireless charging pad, five pounds off a very well-known bidding site. It's a deal, it's a steal. £4.50 delivery. His sale of the fucking century. Now, it didn't come with instructions. Who needs those? Let's give it a go. Let's go straight in, no messing. Get rid of all my missus's rubbish. Mainly like, what are these? Skinny whip. If we ate a sugar, you drink a Diet Coke afterwards and it'll cancel out the sugar. So we've got the two plugs that go down in there. Let me just, whoop. Plug there, plug there. Aha, there we go, so you can see that. So it's got the two USBs, they're connected. Two USBs hang for it, this one and that one there. So it doesn't actually lose your USBs, but gives you the charging stand. Now, question is, can we get this charging stand where it's supposed to go? I mean, where, was it just? Go like that, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I need YouTube. Do I need YouTube? Oh, hello, does this has come off? Ah, look at that! And then put these through there, then it'll be like flush fitment, won't it? Ah! Meant to be! This is child's play, even I can do it! Which is, you know, important. So click that one in there. Ooh, hello. I saw a light. A light came on. Where's the light gone? Right. Now, is this going to work? It's charging. It works. Okay. Five pounds. Okay. Five pounds. Four pound fifty delivery. Nine pound fifty. I'm not going to charge myself labour, but as you can see, there wasn't much involved. It was plug and play. Not even any instructions needed. I'm well happy with that. That's awesome. The missus will be happy too, because now she can charge her phone. So, next, oh no, it's the screen protector. Every time I put the screen protector on a phone, it's like, oh, it's gonna be bubbles, isn't there? It is a proper one. I didn't, I, I didn't, you know, I didn't get a rubbish one, and it's a frosted one. It was, uh, it was an Amazon special. I'm sorry, you couldn't use a used one. I mean, that looked crap, wouldn't it? Right, okay. Look now, hopefully, it looks the same, but frosted and still good. Fingers crossed. Oh yes, it's got one of these squeegee things. Definitely need one of these. Whoop. Wait, we need to put it in the cleaning screen mode. However the hell you do that. Display, screen clean mode. Clean touch screen with soft cloth designed. There we go. So we're taking the backing off now. Press and slide. We're removing. Okay, so now what? Take it off. I don't know, that is... Got a massive, massive bubble in it. <laughs> We've done it. Hold to exit. Two, one, bosh. Really happy with that. In terms of inside, there's only one other thing I want to do and that's get rid of the wood. I want to go for white, and I did find one actually, a used one on um, a Facebook Marketplace, uh, but he wanted £10 less than Amazon wanted a new one, so I was trying to get him down the price, I need to contact him again, because uh, I mean, I'd rather save £10 and get it used rather than get it off Amazon. So let me tell you a little bit about the car. So I had a Skoda Enyaq on order, as some might know, and then I thought delivery is going to be like 2023, because the Ukraine factory... Uh, that did the wiring loom shut down and I thought this is going to be ridiculous and there's already over a year's wait if you order a new one uh, from fresh now so um, I decided you know what I need to go and buy an electric car now I've got an electric channel and I still haven't got an electric car yes the trike was coming along but it was just it was just taking a bit of time um, so I was like you know what we after the Enyaq we were going to go for a Tesla because the Enyaq was going to be a bit big really for what we needed um, and um, you think, oh, why did I go for an Enyaq first? The deal was there. 
I had to take it. It was a no-brainer. They will just about get rid of the government grant. I thought it was a sure thing not to lose any money. And as it happens, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the case. So then I started looking at Tesla Model 3s. Didn't know which one to go for. Real drive, full drive. Uh, so short range or long range. Um, I knew that if I went for long range, it'd be high mileage. But I thought, you know what? It's an electric car. L uh, high mileage is not as much of an issue to a petrol diesel car, so people say, and that does make sense because less moving parts, etc. And the warranty on a Tesla is 100,000 miles or eight years. So I thought, let's go for it. And I found this one, the one we're sitting in now. And um, I was, uh, I'd was i spoken to the guy and, um, yeah, basically got some information about it. Um, and then decided, you know what, I just left it. And then Tesla put their new price up by two grand. I was like, oh, oh, not sure about this. And I was looking at prices. I was putting the price of the cheapest ones, long range and short range, in We Buy Any Car and Cap. I've been stroked by Philip Schofield. Because I'm in the motor trade, I've got access to Cap, which is current auction price. So I did that on a couple of cars just to see where they sit in from a trade price point of view. Now, the thing is, We Buy Any Car had, had them valued really low. The one that I'm sitting in now, they had valued at like 32 and a half. The cap value was like 35. In the end, Tesla put their prices up another two grand. I was like, I need to buy a car. It's pronto. And by that time, I decided, you know what? Long range is the way to go. Uh, reason for that is just everything in terms of the sound, four-wheel drive, performance, and also the fact that you can do the performance upgrade, which is a massive thing, which I've talked more in detail about another time. Um, so I just went out, contacted the guy, went to have a look, and I just bought it. 36 grand, lots of money, admittedly. But now the cheapest one, a month, month and a half later, cheapest one out there, same mileage as this one, same age, 42 grand. So... I mean, admittedly, this didn't come with warranty because it was over 50,000 miles because the uh, manufacturer's warranty for everything bar the motor and battery, motor and battery, 100,000 miles, eight years. But everything else warranty wise out by 50,000, three or three years. But I thought, you know what? I looked around it. It was fine. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a few little bits around it. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm happy. Car is really clean inside, really been looked after um and yeah so that's how we came about for this particular tesla right i think i've bored you enough with that now so uh i'm gonna go in and probably uh get a beer see you later <laughs>